Thank you, thank you very much. Well, let me very briefly say that for me it's a great pleasure to receive the, the Prime Minister from Sweden, which will be the next president of the European Union. I think it's very timely that I have taken the time to come here and to meet with the institutions of the European Union to prepare the next presidency. As you know, it will be theirs. I like to say that uh, the program, the objectives are uh, very ambitious and that uh, they can count on all the help from uh, the Council, from the High Representative, in all the uh, demands that uh, they may come uh, along the, the period from here to the presidency and during the presidency. So I want to thank you very much, Mr. Prime Minister, for coming here and preparing such a coordinated fashion uh, your presidency. I'm sure they will be a great success. Yeah, <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Uh, as you have seen, uh, very often today there is a rising expectation for Europe to act on, on world crisis. Uh, so, of course, to discuss coordination of, on uh, foreign matters is a very important part of uh, our incoming presidency. Uh, we also have a lot of important bilateral meetings that we will uh, have during this autumn with China, with India, with Ukraine, with South Africa, Brazil, and with Russia. So, of course, to discuss um, already now, uh, these meetings, it will of course link to our important message of climate change, but also to be able to be flexible in, in conflicts that arise. In that manner, we have also discussed, of course, uh, the situation in the Middle East, Afghanistan, uh, Russia, to just mention a few. But I'm very glad for this contact, and we will continue to have this contact um, when we face the Swedish presidency. So. I think that we'll have a chat. Uh, uh, Willie Silberstein from Swedish Radio. Can I ask Mr. Solana, over the weekend, the US reiterated that they hope the EU will help them to close down Guantanamo. Do you think the EU should act and uh, receive uh, uh, prisoners from Guantanamo? Well, I, I, first, I think we welcome the decision. It's something that we have uh, known for a long time back, and this is reality now, the decision by the new administration. We welcome that. But uh, no doubt that the problem of Guantanamo is a problem of the United States. If we can be of any help, uh, we will try to be of help. The disposition of the member states of the European Union is constructive and positive, but we have to analyze in detail what is the, the proposal, what is the, the demand that they can put on us. In any case, I'd like to see once again that this is a problem for the United States, of the United States, and we will be ready to, to help if, uh, if we can do it, according to the member states' legislation. Uh, hello, Johanna Johnson, Swedish Television. Mr. Solana, what is your best advice to, to Prime Minister Reinfeldt for, for making it a good uh, presidency of the, of the European Union? What, what should it think of? What is your best advice? Well, I, I don't think that uh, he needs any advice to make a success of the presidency. Your country has uh, experience, it's not the first time you, do the, you have a presidency. You have done it very well in the previous times, and uh, this time will be very, very important. I think that uh, it's not an advice, but it's a comment. I think the responsibility and the ambition that the, the president has placed on climate change, on the Copenhagen summit, will be very, very important. And it's not an advice, it's just a support for what he's going to do, what he's trying to do, and hope that it will be a great success. It's very important for all of us to have a good success in Copenhagen. And I'm sure that the Prime Minister is going to do his utmost to do it. Maria Davidson, the Swedish news agency. Uh, a question to Mr. Solano. Uh, will the Middle East and Russia be on top of the foreign agenda during the Swedish presidency as well, you think? Or should they prepare for something uh, completely different? Um, if you ask me what, what would be my wish, and my wish would be yes. I hope very much that we have to be prepared for something different, in particular in the Middle East. If something different means they will begin to really construct uh, the basis for the peace process that comes to an end in the year 2009, second semester. That would be the best news uh, we could have. 
as far as the international policy is concerned, to have peace in the Middle East. And for that, uh, we are going to work hand in hand, uh, doing all our efforts. That will be a, a surprise, very positive. And I hope they will be a reality.